and Beak Supreme and this video will be for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. I'm just showing some a uh, little bit about um, uh, about Game Genie codes, um, how the Game Genie is essentially a programmer's tool. Uh, some people might call it a hacking device. Uh, all it does is lets you modify um, the MOS 6502 uh, hexadecimal code. Uh, but on the Nintendo sy system, which is a Rico 2A03, just a modified version of the MOS 6502. Uh, once again, I'm not using Microsoft Windows. <clears throat> Bring up my emulator. And I've been messing with Game Genie code since 1994, so that's a good 18 years. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up our ROM and we're going to bring up Super Mario Brothers 3 because I figured out it's open up the ROM you dumb dumb. Um it's not in the code now <clears throat> you can start as I believe Frog Mario. But I wanted to start as Tanuki Mario. And the code is not We'll just head. You know what? Screw that. I'll go to a different one. I just had that running. I scaled it full screen, or not full screen, but a, a larger beast nest. <coughs> now the code for um, to start as Tanuki Mario was not in the code book 20 years ago, back in 1991 or 1992. Okay, but in the code book they tell you. Uh, the basics of how to modify codes. Um, so what I'm going to do is just prove a, a code works. And I, if you look at the code book, uh, I'm just going to show Game Genie codes real quick. Okay. Nintendo NES. <clears throat> now, start game is Tanuki Mario. I had found that out recently. Um, what I noticed is um, start as Frog Mario. Well, let's see if these codes are the same. Frog Mario is actually. Uh, in the official Game Genie code book is O U K X G L I E, but you see in the um, oh wait, oh that's a different code, that's a different code altogether. Start and stay as okay, these these codes are the same, <clears throat> yes, O U K X G L I E. Now notice that um, the difference, a lot of these codes, the N in G-L-I-E <clears throat> for the start and stay, and a lot of them are K-X-G-L-I-E uh, to start and stay as a particular character. Now, um, what I noticed, the only difference between starting and staying as Raccoon Mario and Frog Mario is the first two characters there, which denotes a difference. Um, and so uh, I tried an experiment. Uh, as you can see, these codes here match what's in the official Game Genie code book from the early 1990s. Of course, this video is dated from November 7th, 2012. Um, I had to experiment around because I wanted to start and stay as Tanuki Mario. So what I did was, I'm just going to copy this this code here, the Frog Mario code, because it's significance. Alright, and I played around with it. Load NES cartridge, alright. Super Mario Brothers 3. There we go. Tools. Where's the game genie? I haven't really used this this um 
and we haven't used this um, this emulator very much. Tools or cheat editor. All right, start new game is Tanuki Mario, but you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in the Frog Mario code, and we're gonna prove that it works. Okay, and we're going to use just this code right here. All right, and we're going to um, close that. Okay, now we're going to pl uh, we're going to just set up our inputs just to make sure settings, uh, uh, controller port one, game pan, and settings, config input. All right. This configuring the uh, button mapping on the controller. <clears throat> now I'm not going to use any turbo. Close that. We're place it Mario Bros. Three. Be compatting is real good. Be compat, be compat, be compatting in love. Be the child like I should. Yes, be. You don't even know about speak, so I'm right here. Here we go. Start and stay as Frog Mario. And that would have made me, um, normally, normally that would have turned me into, um, Raccoon Mario, but I am, um, uh, Frog Mario. And I'm staying that way. Uh, that would have not made me Frog Mario anymore. So I know the code works. All right. <clears throat> All right. Where is this? Now I'm gonna go to Config and Advanced. Well, no, that's not it. I'm going to go to Settings, right? Tools, Cheat Editor. I'm gonna disable this code. And see what happens. And everything works normally. Okay. Um, I was able to get hit. And I'm able to become Raccoon Mario. Okay, that's all normal. So that code works. Now what we're going to do is go in here. And we're going to try a different code. We're going to put in the same Frog Mario code, but change this prefix here to UO. Uh, and the reason why is because if you look at these codes, <clears throat> the difference between starting and staying as Raccoon Mario and starting and staying as Sledgehammer Mario is just the prefix right here. On Raccoon Mario, it's NX, and on Sledgehammer Mario, it's XN. So I tried this experiment, and um, and we'll put um, start and stay T A N O K I M A R I O. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to use just that code. Ha ha! All of a sudden, I am ta Tanuki Mario. Didn't expect it to be like that. I thought I'd have to restart the game. Well, that's interesting. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. I found this out a couple months ago, back in the summer of 2012, when I was uh, hacking Game Genie codes. Let's see what else we can do. We'll try to turn into a statue. Uh, well, it's not perfect. And uh, well, it's so you don't really get statue uh, powers or abilities. Really, it seems to just be uh, the changing of a sprite or something. 
you can fly, <clears throat> so you still are, you know, in a way, you're like Tanuki Mario, and then it does that poof of a cloud and the sound effect whenever you try to turn into, um, you know, normally when, see, the sound and the cloud poof are the same right there as when the when you're normally Tanuki Mario in the game but in this it's not actually letting you change into a statue like it normally would if you really were Tanuki Mario and uh <clears throat> now you might be seeing um Reset. Now you might be seeing a code in here called Start New Game as Tanuki Mario. That is in the code book from um, the early 1990s. Uh, but it's not exactly the same code, and I'll show you why. Because <clears throat> you cannot stay as Tanuki Mario, and that's the difference. Yes, you can start as Tanuki Mario, and there's statue power, so you really are Tanuki Mario, but you will not stay as Tanuki Mario. See, you really have statue powers. That fireball would have uh, affected me. See, this, this uh, Koopa Troopa would have affected me if I wasn't. A statue. See, now I'm not, uh, I, I couldn't stay as Tanuki Mario. So there's a difference. Now I'm Raccoon Mario. Alright. <clears throat> oh, yes. Now I saw some other codes on here. Uh, somebody else modified some codes. Um, ah, Miniature Stone Mario right here. This code is pretty cool. And I'll show you what it does. Now, I did not create this code here, the Miniature Stone Mario. I did the start and stay as Tanuki Mario that, that doesn't really give you statue mode. Um, we're going to unload that code there. We're going to uh, clear. We're going to um, put in this code here. Uh, and just show you what Game Genie codes do, and uh, this should take effect. I'm surprised. This is a pretty good emulator, Beast Nest. I'm pretty happy with it. I remember 15 years ago, back in the fall of 1997, using uh, <clears throat> using Nesticle. And then um, in the early 2000s, and for the last, for about 10 years, using uh, JNS, which is a really good emulator, but it's Windows only. Uh, Nesticle, you know, it was for MS DOS. Uh, very, I mean, it's like the granddaddy of Nintendo emulators. It's very accurate, very good, but you know, development is stagnant. It's been stagnant for since 1998. Um, and uh, but JNS is still a really good emulator all around. Um, but it's only Microsoft Windows version. And BeastNest, I run it. I can run it on my Raspberry Pi. I'm running it on this computer right here, and I'm using Linux Mint. I'm not using Windows. And it's free and open source. So let's check this code here. All right, now we are little statue Mario, and you can see things cannot uh, enemies cannot interact with me. And, uh, but I can interact with enemies, and I'm gray, and uh, it's very strange, <laughs> but it's pretty cool actually, I can't really complain, uh, but except for one thing, and I'll show you what that is. You cannot power up. Uh, you are permanently little, but the benefit is you can't die from enemies. They uh, they just ignore you. And and not just that, that that Koopa shell should have stayed on the screen and let me kick it around when I jumped on it. 
but no, it fell off the screen, so you are, in effect, like Statue Mario. Uh, only Statue Mario can do those kinds of things. Um, so it's very strange, but this gets into game system programming, well, effectively computer programming, because a video game console is is just a uh, it's just a computer dedicated for the purpose of gaming. All right, uh, it's getting toward time for me to go to work, so I uh, I need to uh, conclude this video and um, I need to conclude this video here and. Um, Thanks for watching. I am Beak Supreme, and this is for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. Pet some. <laughs> It'd help if I uh, if I finish recording. <laughs>